And that was Lado Burns. So I would be remiss if I did not um, include a tune from my album, uh, which I released back in August of 2020 this past year. So in the middle of a pandemic, uh, fortunately all of the recording was done by the point that everything shut down. So all of this was just waiting for the master tracks to come back and then promoting it all out into the world. And I want to thank all of you tuning in because I know there's a few of you watching that were a big help in the process. So I wanted to extend my thanks for that um, because of you all. This uh, this album is a thing. <laughs> it's a thing that I did. Um, and it's called Tea for Tunes. So if you have not had a chance to get a copy, there is uh, there are details in the program for how you can purchase your uh, copy of Tea for Tunes on my website. And I have about 50 of them sitting at my parents' house right now, and I don't want to bring any of them back up to Michigan with me. So that would be awesome if I even lighten my load <laughs> going up there. I think that they could all use a better, better home. So there is information on how to purchase those on the website. This particular track is uh, called Peeling Potatoes and the Man from Dunn Lane. So it is a set. It's kind of a, the first tune is a quasi-waltz, which I wrote, and there's a story that I'll tell you in a minute. And the second tune is a reel by a uh, Mayo fiddle player, David Ducey. And uh, David and I have never met, but I listened to his CD and I heard this tune and I knew instantly I had to try and get it on the album. So I wrote to him, uh, or sent him a Facebook message and asked him if that would be okay. And he got me all the information um, for the Irish licensing and whatnot and said, absolutely, this is great. So I'm very grateful for him uh, letting me record his tune on this album. It is the only track on there, aside from some solo voice, that does not have my guitar player, John Worsler, on there. Um, and he, uh, he just does phenomenal work on all the other tracks. But I did have my friend Stephanie Cope uh, playing fiddle. Um, it's really a really cool harmony. I cannot duplicate the two fiddle sound here. But if you want to hear the actual version, you can listen to it on the album, which is also available online for streaming, too, if you like. So there's that, and um, she also plays Baron on the reel afterwards, which is really cool. So, um, Peeling Potatoes is a tune that I wrote for my godmother, Frida, and Frida, unfortunately, is no longer with us. She passed away on uh, early 2018, um, and she uh, was a very, very positive influence on my life, and she also was probably where I got my sense of humor from, for some part. Uh, she would claim credit for that. And uh, she will never let me forget the fact that I was a very grouchy teenager one day and I didn't want to help with the dinner prep. So um, she said, if you peel this one potato, then I will peel the last one for you and you can go do whatever it is you want to do. And so she has never let me vote it down that she peeled a potato for me because that's how much she loved me. So eventually I decided to write a tune called Peeling Potatoes, which is where that comes from. So here we go. Uh -huh. 